Leo. This will happen in the next 48 hours for June the 5th through June the 6th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for June the 5th through June the 6th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Leo for June the 5th through June the 6th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Leo for June the 5th through June the 6th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Leo... So, Leo, these are your cards, honey. So, Leo, you have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Leo, listen, you can tell me there was some immature, premature communication had here, or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Leo. Clarify the page of swords for Leo. Clarify the page of swords for Leo. Leo, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Leo could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Leo, clarify the King of Pentacles. For Leo, it is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Leo, listen, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Leo. Clarify the moon for Leo. Clarify the moon for Leo. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle. Closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys. Emotional distance or geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely. Or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Leo. Clarify the world for Leo, clarify the world. For Leo, it is clarified with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Leo, listen, could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the king of swords. For Leo, clarify the King of Swords. For Leo, clarify the King of Swords. For Leo, it is clarified with the Hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the Hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement, but you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Leo, listen, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you're telling me that you guys are stagnant or something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective here. Clarify the hangman for Leo. Clarify the hangman for Leo. Clarify the hangman for Leo. It is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Leo, listen, could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariots for Leo. Clarify the chariots for Leo. Clarify the chariots. For Leo, it is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Leo, listen, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now listen, Leo, you can tell me that, you know, maybe there's an element of the unknown here, okay? Maybe you guys are having this preliminary communication about stability and going into a commitment, but I feel like the decision to move forward and do so is hanging in the balance here. So someone very well may have commitment on the brain. However, Leo, you can tell me that this commitment marriage, living together situation or family dynamics may be ending here and a cycle is closing out because of some type of secret. Someone could have went looking and spying here. Leo, for some of you guys, someone is making a decision here to do some type of travel or some type of physical move here. Leo, you have the four of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, there is an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer would be rejected. So Leo, listen, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the Four of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Four of Cups for Leo. Clarify the Four of Cups for Leo. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So Leo, could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Leo. Clarify the Empress for Leo. Clarify the Empress for Leo. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, 
But the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny, destiny. So Leo, listen, could be dealing with an Aquarius. You can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Clarify the star for Leo. Clarify the star for Leo. Clarify the star for Leo. It is clarified with the eight of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face-to-face -face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So Leo, listen, something could be happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. You know, Leo, is there an offer to nurture this relationship further? But it's happening quickly here, Leo. And this is the reason why you're kind of, uh, eh, I don't know, kind of iffy. It's hanging in the balance of this decision here. You know, it's happening too fast. However, Leo, is this an offer to nurture the relationship or dealing with someone that you have history with at a distance? Because the star is also a travel card. Travel, 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 travel here. Are you like physically moving or traveling? Leo, you have the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that, first of all, you may be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me that there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers. For Leo. Clarify the lovers. For Leo. Clarify the lovers. For Leo. It is clarified with the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Now, you can tell me that you're meditating on you guys' twin flame connection. Because maybe, like I said, someone wants to rush into some type of commitment. You can tell me that you're meditating on a partnership with work or business. It could be work or business with your stability, but requires some type of travel here. Okay? However, you can tell me that you guys are on a break because there's another other lover. Or are you meditating on this other lover? And this is the reason why you're iffy about going into some type of commitment. Leo, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something, to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy, so Leo, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance, yes. Someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Leo. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Leo. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Leo. It is clarified with the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or there's a breakup here. Leo, you can tell me that it is something going on financially and maybe this is the reason why you're considering some type of travel for 
your practicality sake, okay? Your stability. You can tell me that you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics is coming to an end here. There's a breakup taking place. Could be because there's another other lover here. But Leo, do you actually have to move? Because this is someone being left out in the cold from this home, from this family, out in the cold. So is there like a physical move or travel, Leo? Goodness. You have the three of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up. Making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Leo, listen, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration, or there's a third party. Clarify the three of pentacles for Leo. Clarify the three of pentacles. For Leo, clarify the three of pentacles. For Leo, it is clarified with the ten of pentacles again. So like I said, Leo, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Leo, listen, this could all be about work or business in your coins here. Like I said, it could be some type of an agreement to travel. Okay, you don't want to, but yes, yeah, there. Leo, you know, this could also be some type of an agreement or a contract, collaboration, possibly commitment here, okay? Maybe you feel like there's some type of rush. You need to think about it. You need to think about other people that may be involved here. And you might, look at, uh, you might feel like, uh, I don't know, okay? Leo could also be an agreement for a new home here, property here, because I feel like it's some type of move or some type of travel. Could also tell me that things are ending because there's a third party, but I feel like it's some type of travel, 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 travel for you, Leo. New location. Leo, this is what happened in the next 48 hours for June the 5th through June the 6th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter as, really as, at her immortal Madge, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.